Impedance of the antenna has both real and imaginary parts. Real part is the resistance while imaginary parts are the reactances. Reactances can be either inductive or capacitive. Both are out of phase with the resistive component of impedance. Between the two, they are 180 degrees out of phase. Inductive reactance is taken as positive and capacitive reactance as negative. If the antenna is shorter than the resonant value of the frequency, it has capacitive reactance. An antenna which is longer has an inductive reactance. Smith chart represents inductive reactance above the center line and capacitive reactance below that. One end of the horizontal line represents short while the other end represents the open circuit condition. Radiation resistance of the antenna under test is somewhere in between. Center point represents 50 ohms radiation resistance. These are well illustrated during the recall of calibration of the nano VNA as discussed earlier. It is always nice to have verification of calibration on nano VNA. Method of verification is detailed here. From the menu, select display and activate the Smith chart alone and remove all other tracings to avoid clutter on the screen. Recall the saved calibration from the micro SD card as discussed earlier. Then connect the open SMA connector to port 1. The marker should be seen at one end of the Smith chart as shown here. Remove the open SMA connector and connect short SMA connector instead. The marker will be seen at the opposite end of the Smith chart. After that, remove the short SMA connector and connect load SMA connector in its place. Now the marker can be seen at the center of the Smith chart. Reference Absolute Beginner's Guide to Nano VNA by 9 alpha 2 Juliet Kilo. Each of the circles on the Smith chart represent resistances. When the graph is above the horizontal line, we have inductive reactance. Points below the horizontal line show capacitive reactance. The green curved tracing represents the